You everybody. come from a, um, a program that won, that went to states mm-hmm. five times in a row. You were there right. for all five, right? Right. In Shamanad. You get a, you get an opportunity, you come to Dillard. I know you I know um your your family runs deep in the Dillard tradition. Right. Also, correct? Yeah. All right. How hard is it to sell public school, leaving a private school like Shamanad? Hard about selling Dillard is from seven o'clock That's what I'm saying. To three o'clock. So with that that's 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 the that's the hard part when it comes to selling Dillard because well, I'm not truthful about it. Because I don't, I don't coach that private school, and I don't, um, and I'm coaching that public school. Mm-hmm. In the school system, people try to make it out to say, you know, this school is better than this school from an education standpoint. One of my biggest issues with people who say stuff like, such such got a better education. You don't even know what's going on in that building. In the building, correct. And all you saying is such and such got a better education. <laughs> you don't even know the curriculum have portfolio. have no idea. Correct. No curriculum portfolio. What's nothing. going on in that building? But the first thing you say is. They got a better education. How you know? Mm-hmm. Who told you that? Mm-hmm. What you, makes that true? When you pull the curriculum portfolio, you you, 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 you following the crowd. Mm-hmm. You can put lipstick on a pig every day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> you can put a nice table in here and a nice TV and a nice iPad and say, my, my education is just yeah. better than yours. Yeah. No. In the end of the day, you're going to have teachers that care. And teachers that, that don't no, care yeah. at mm. every school. At every school. Mm-hmm. Every school. You can't tell. You can get the best school in the world. You can't tell me all them teachers care and they take their job 100%, 100% serious and they're giving it all they got. You a lie. 100%. That's you true. a lie. You're going to have teachers at these sir, sir, so called private schools. They hate athletes. 100%. Don't like them at all. Trying to fail them. Trying to give everything they can to fail them. You're going to have teachers at Dilla who love their kids to death. You gonna have teachers that dealer who collecting the check. Facts. That's so, so, mm. so, Coach, tell me, tell me some of the programs y'all got at dealer that y'all Man, offer. Right now, we got a kid who I love to death named Armando Blunt. Um, he was the number one academic kid in middle school last year. Mm. We was able to get him in the Cambridge program. Cambridge program is the highest of the high. I ain't talking about honors and a Cambridge program. College, oh, graduate well, well, courses. Mm-hmm. All right. One of my players is in. First of all, I got a few players in it, but Armando Blunt is one of them. He's exceeding. My exceeding in yeah, it. And over uh, In the Cambridge program. And it was a program he, str- number one academic kid in middle school, got the ninth grade, struggled at first. Mm-hmm. And we had a conversation. He was like, Coach, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this Cambridge program and play football. Because mm-hmm. it's killing me right now as far as my time management stuff. And I told him, I said, look here. And I talked to him and his mom. I said, look here, we're going to stay in it. We're going to stay in it because you need to learn how college is going to be. And you're going to be more than a football player at the next level if you want to do this engineering. You want to be an engineer, mm-hmm. right? Stayed in it. Ended up with, I think, six A's and a B. And I think right now he got a 4.8 or something like that. Yeah, he had a 5.0. 5. Point, something 5. like that. 0. Something crazy like that. Had a 5.0 GPA. You know what I'm saying? GPA. But that's a young man who challenged himself. Correct. You see what I'm saying? And that Cambridge program is college course work. They don't take classes with the general with public. With general, with, yeah, no. with GPA. No, and if you're not ready for it, it's going to whip you behind. It's going to show. I don't care. You can get any kid from any private school, put them in that care program, and tell them, come on. Bring it on. We'll see what you got. So we got great programs, right? you always going to have a few kids here and there, all right, that people want to make stories about. None of my kids that play for me have had any problems since they've been at Dilla High School. So I say this because I'm honest all the way around. I'm honest all the way around. When you when you make a decision between public and private, it's not so much about the school. Just know your kid. You got to know your child. Know your kid. Know mm-hmm. your kid. Because it ain't fair. So, so that's where environment and stuff comes in play. Know your kid. Facts. And hopefully you ain't raising Bill Follow. My guys in my program is close knit. Yeah. That they run with each other. They run with each other. And guess what? When you got like minded people around you, everybody trying to get it. Everybody trying to be successful. Mm. We got a senior right now that's an All-American. All right? We got another senior right now that's one of the top athletes in the country. All right? Committed to Florida State. Listen, man, them people gone. They finna get it. Yeah. And not mm. only are they going to be on Saturdays making plays, these people finna be playing on Sunday. Yeah, they that mm. good. They can't see lie about it. That. You can't World help class. but see. Yeah. Yes, sir. And they coming from Dillard High school. school. From Dillard High School, yeah. Not the mention, Najee Kelly and Devon Mortimer, two of my best players I've ever coached in my life both got over 3.0.